Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video. As I promised, we hit the 30 likes, so here's part two of the text presets. I'm sorry there's been like a slight delay on the video. I've been super busy, I got client work, got a whole lot of IRL work I gotta do because I'm going to university in a few weeks. Yeah, I'm sorry for the small delay, but let's just get right into it. I have five new text presets. Um, that's because y'all hit the 30 likes on the previous video. I think we got like 40 in total or something. So thanks for that. We're almost at 450 subscribers on our way to 500. That's great. Um, so yeah, these are the text presets that I have made right now. We got the letter flip up, random text zoom out. Um, we've got some stroke action going on and some blur action going on. So yeah, let's just get right into the first preset. There's just a, like a, a fade in, but it's blurry. So this will look really nice on cinematic-ish titles. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna press U twice to pop up all the animators. And we're gonna delete this because we want to make it from scratch, of course. Um, and we're gonna go to animate. We're gonna go to opacity and we're gonna add a property and the property is blur. So we, of course, we're gonna set the opacity to zero, but let's just first check what blur we want. Let's put this at 50 and then the opacity at zero. And I'm gonna go here, advanced, ramp up. If we now do this, animate the offset from minus 100 to 100. This will look really nice. There you have your nice blur fade in for the cinematic titles. Let's continue to the second preset. This one is sort of the same, only it's not really a ramp up, it's just an animation in and um, I've increased the tracking. So let's duplicate this, uh, turn this one off, press U twice and delete these animators. So we're gonna start from scratch. We are going to animate the tracking. We're going to animate uh, blur and we're going to animate the opacity. So this one is gonna be a little bit different as I said. So we're gonna place keyframes for the opacity, the, track, uh, the tracking amount, not the tracking type and the blur. We're gonna move back a second and I am going to set the blur to 50 again. I'm going to increase the tracking amount to like, um, let's say, let's say 200 or something. And I'm going to decrease the opacity to zero. You know what? Let's set the tracking amount to 100. Um, so this is what we have right now. It's still a little bit stiff. So we're going to select all of these keyframes. We're going to press F9 and we're going to the graph editor. We're going to select all the right handles and we're going to drag these to the left. So if we preview this now, there's a really smooth animation. There we go. This is also very nice for cinematic-ish titles. Third one. So we're going to duplicate this, press U twice, delete the animator and let's start over again. First, we're going to go to animate and we're going to enable per 3D character. If it's not on yet, turn that on. Um, then we're going to animate the rotation. We only want to animate the X rotation. So we're going to set this to, uh, there we go, 90. Let's go to range selector, advanced. Set this to ramp up or set this to minus 100. Move along a second, set this to 100. There we go, it's looking nice, but still a bit stiff. So we're gonna set this to the same numbers as always. And yeah, there we go, it is looking super nice. One thing that I don't really like is that um, you can already see the text laying here. So we're just gonna add a, another property. We're gonna go to opacity, just set the opacity to zero. And there we go, it's basically a nice flip slide up. So yeah, that's really nice. So let's move on to text preset four. We've also done this one in the text preset one video, but this one is a little bit different because there are like a random characters. Um, so let's duplicate this, remove the animated that's currently on it. Uh, of course, enable per 3D character because you want a 3D zoom. Now we're gonna click on position because we want to animate this. We're gonna type in minus two, six, 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 comma or point six, 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 seven. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, advanced. We're gonna set this to ramp up. Just change these to the normal numbers so it always looks nice. And uh, we're gonna set this to minus 100. Go on a second, set this to 100 again. There you go. That's what we have right now. But of course, the only difference is we turn on a randomized order and basically this make gives it a random order that looks really nice you might have noticed that our animations are basically the same because if i turn this one off it's it's still the same so you can always change the random seed and this will give another random animation so yeah you can change that if you want let's go on to the last text preset this one is a really simple stroke animation this one might look intimidating but it's actually super easy to make so we're just gonna pick this one uh, it's a fill text so we want to click on this and then it will change to a stroke text just change, change the stroke width to whatever you like. I like mine at three. Uh, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click on this. We're gonna go to create and create shapes from mask. Um, this will create uh, paths uh, along the text lines. And we're gonna click on this little arrow key. We're gonna click on add and we're gonna add a trim, a trim pads. We're gonna click down here. We're gonna animate the end. Uh, so place a key mark for 0% of the end. Uh, oh shit, let's go to the beginning of the text of course. 
uh, place one and then go on a second and set it to 100. Um, this will look really stiff, so what you want to do is select both of these keyframes, press F9, go to the graph editor, select the right handle and drag it to the left to create a smooth animation. So if we preview there right now, that will probably look much better than without easy easy. Yes, that's perfect. All right, so these were the presets that I've created for you guys today. Uh, I hope you liked it. Be sure to subscribe, like, and please comment on the video. I'm getting a lot of likes and I really appreciate that, but I would like to see some nice comments for suggestions or what you thought about the video, what, could, what I could do better next time. So thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.